labels out here Now they can't tell me nothing We give it to the people Spread it across the country Let's talk about my top 5 CD tweaks now. The first one is called Control Unlocker, and basically it replaces your normal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, keypad with a, well, this thing right here. So, you press clear sequence, you type in a passcode like that, and that will be your new passcode. Simple, right? But, I don't know if you like that. If you don't, then don't get it. If you do, it is called Control Unlocker. And let's get to our second CD of Tweak, which is called Insta Launcher. Now, this is my personal favorite of the month, and you can set any activation method you want, but let me just show you what it does. One, two, three. And here you go. It's like a, another way, another home screen combined with the average switcher. So basically, you have a keypad on both sides, whether you're righty or lefty, and it has letters and all your apps, yes, all your apps, not just your running applications, are organized alphabetically right here. So you simply slide to the right on whatever application you want and it will go there. Now it has another section for recent and I just got this tweak so I don't have any recent applications. I'm not a big user of this thing, but you might be. But I did add some favorites as you can see here. Here I have Cydia, YouTube, so on and so forth. To exit out of this thing, you simply press this and that's about it. Ready for the next week we'll be talking about Keyboard Control Pro. Now it literally is what it is. So let me give you two examples of the many things this tweak can do. So for the first thing I'll be showing you is say you have one of these. Well, this tweak will automatically add an ending to that. It can be annoying sometimes, but most of the time it's quite useful. See, I don't like typing something, going here typing this, typing that, and then having to go back and put this in. Instead, it does it for you. Simple as that, right? Now, as you can see there, I had a lot of type, or a lot of text. So, what Quick Action does is you put a specific letter that you want, then you activate it, and I'm going to put a bunch of writing. Then, as you saw the D, I'm going to hold down the D. And there you go. Everything is gone. What you would have to do is back, 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 back. Instead of instead of that, I just simply press down D and voila. So that's two of the things that Keyboard Control Pro can do. Awesome, right? Alright, so another tweak I will be showing you is called Taskmaster. As you can see here, I have a bunch of configuration, but the main tweak is right here. It takes your spotlight search to the next level. I can change brightness directly from here. It is still getting better, but it's pretty cool for now. Um, as you can see here, you have 4, 8, 12, 16 toggles. Then you scroll down, and you can instantly tweet Facebook or compose a message or email. Then underneath that, you have a bunch of information about your iPhone or iPod, depending on what you're running. Awesome, right? And as the obvious, you have a brightness slider and your music controller along with AirPlay and the name of whatever is playing. So yes, that is called Taskmaster. Final CD tweak, it is called LiveWire Pro. I see that our developers like to use the word Pro a lot. I guess it makes them sound cooler, I guess. So yes, you go ahead and enable it. And I'll be showing you what all these animations do in about one second. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and unlock my device. And there you go. Unlike your unawesome device, my awesome device has this awesome, like, elevator opening style. Now, there are other ones, and let me go ahead and show you about two or three. That was, that's called elevator. That is found in the free version. The pay, paid version gives you all of these. So let me show you this one. I like this one a lot. There you go. It zooms, three, or rotates, and then fades. And I'll show you Whirlpool. You can go test out the rest on your own. Now, where I like to keep it is at random, so every single time I unlock it, I get a different unlock animation. Awesome, right? Now, you can also say you're the person who likes to unlock their device in one split second and doesn't like to wait for a dumb animation to show up, then you can change the duration to something lower. Or if you're a person who wants to sit there and enjoy the animation for 20 minutes, you can set it higher. I'll give you a little example. 
it looks cool, but for all you people with time management, um, it might not be the best option. So yeah, that's going to be it for my top 5 city tweaks. If you like my videos, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you don't, subscribe anyways. So yeah, that's going to be it. This is me, logging off. Play hard, keep partying like it's your job.